Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about anime and manga and its increased popularity and how light novels and manga are getting banned in Australia. So I think the two things are actually related. The more popular anime and manga becomes, the more popular light novels become, the more attention they get from the mainstream and the more likely it is that Karens are going to find something wrong with it. Uh, we're going to find stuff that's wrong with titles that have been around for years that have not uh, been problematic until current year because, again, uh, Karens. Karens have discovered anime and manga. Before we get into it, please give us a sub if you haven't done so already. We talk about anime. We talk about animation. We talk about Star Wars. We talk about general pop culture and kind of the pop culture wars going on right now that's what we've been covering and we we try to have fun with it but sometimes it's just not very fun it's just not very fun so let's talk about this we're going to talk about no game no life light novels being completely banned from australia uh yeah this is an ongoing battle especially in australia that uh, there is an omega karen who is behind this banning um she is a legislator who took a took a cursory look at uh, anime and manga and decided it was offensive. It was very, very offensive. And this has been making the news uh, for the last like six months or so, actually. It started with uh, Sterling Griff over in Australia, and now it's Connie Benaros, Upper House MP Connie Benaros of Australia. She's been investigating, investigating Japanese anime and manga publications and she found many for sale she believed should not have gotten past the classification board because she literally believes that uh, anime, manga, and light novels lead to the abuse of actual children. This is a thing she believes. She probably also believes that if you play Dungeons and Dragons in your basement, you will actually summon demons and they will eat your children and your dog. Uh, so this is the same kind of mentality that uh, you know we we had back in the day, and it's happening again. I swear to God, the more time goes by, the more it looks like the religious left is becoming the religious right. Especially when it comes to pop culture, there's there's always something to be offended about. But she she really has honed in on zeroed in on no game no life. Uh, she doesn't like this title. She really doesn't. Now they've banned. Uh, banned several issues of the light novel completely from Australia. And we're going to talk about that. But uh, she believes she's, she believes that these titles uh, are, are leading to children being exploited because the characters are either underage or they look underage. And this has been an ongoing thing. We've been talking about it even on uh, Amazon. Amazon's banned some of these titles. Amazon has taken down Hatsune Miku figure listings because she's 16, even though these these toys are not uh, sexualized in any way. It's just really overreacting, overreacting. Just throw a label on it, throw it in a plastic bag or something. Say you have to be 18 years or older to read this, this kind of content. But now they're going to scrutinize anime and manga very, very heavily in Australia. Uh, they were talking about Iromanga Sensei. Um, where, which I guess I, I'll give you that one where a 15 year old and a 12 year old uh, create dirty comics together and uh, no game, no life or an 18 year old and 11 year old sister enter an online gaming world, uh, kind of sort of. Um, she said these publications were problematic because they were in bookstores and now it's been banned. Uh, banned completely. This is coming from Bounding into Comics, No Game, No Life, Light Novel Volumes Banned from Australia by Government Classification Board. Oh boy, uh, coming from Spencer Bakuli, the Australian government has banned certain volumes of the No Game, No Life Light Novel from sale and import within their borders. I mean, we're talking like they're treating this stuff like it's drugs or something. We're, we're literally treating cartoon drawings like it's it's contraband. Uh, this follows months of attacks against the title by politicians. In Australia, media must be submitted to the Australian Classification Board for review and classification prior to release. Upon review, a given piece of media will be assigned a classification rating. Don't they do this in China too? 
I think they do this in China. This is similar to those given by the BBFC, CERO, and ESRB, which advises consumers as to the content of the media and specifies which age group and entertainment uh, may be suitable for. However, unlike its overseas counterparts, the Australian Classification Board is a government organization. It exists as a branch of the Australian Government Department of Infrastructure, Transport, Regional Development and Communications. On July 23rd, the Australian Classification Board announced that three volumes of the No Game, No Life light novel had received a rating of refused classification, thus preventing the volumes from being imported to or sold within the country. Manga is contraband. Light novels are contraband. Refused classification is described as a classification category referring to films, computer games, and publications that cannot be sold, hired, advertised, or even legally imported in Australia. Black market. It's also described as material which contains content that is very high in impact and falls outside generally accepted community standards. This sounds like China. Uh, for volumes one and two, they were classified RC uh, as publications that described or depict a way that is likely to cause offense to a reasonable adult, a person who is or appears to be a child under 18, whether they're engaged in activity or not. These two volumes were presumably refused classification due to respective color illustrations in each volume that depicted under 18 characters as uh, not wearing clothing. In volume nine, while also having its refusal justified under Pub 1B, uh, was also refused under Pub 1A, which states that publications that describe, depict, express, or otherwise deal with matters of sexual stuff, misuse, or addiction, crime, cruelty, violence, revolting, oh my god, they're, they're lumping manga into the same classification as like importing drugs or showing drug use or, or gore. I mean, this is insane violence or revolting or abhorrent phenomena in such a way that they offend against the standards of morality, decency, and propriety generally accepted by reasonable adults to the extent that they should not be classified. Reasonable adults, who decides that? So yeah, I mean, look, I would say throw it in a bag, say there's some, there's some uh, potentially lewd stuff in this comic, but you know, they're trying to make this, this connection this false connection between anime and manga and and child abuse i mean has anyone stopped to to think about how crazy this is you know this stuff is coming out of japan and uh, last time i checked they didn't have nearly the the number of violent crimes uh that the west has but i could be wrong about that but uh they're cartoon characters guys they're cartoon characters so why is this happening well manga is picking up in popularity. Uh, manga and anime are on the radar now for the general public. Uh, you know, Viz was talking about how how well their manga has been selling. It used to be kind of a niche thing and now it is absolutely mainstream. And, uh, you know, I was on a stream yesterday with Thinking Critical and uh, Wes and the guys were talking about the decline in Western comic sales. And I'm telling you, people love comics. They just don't like the Western comics. They're reading more manga. Uh, so, you know, there is definitely a demand for the art form, but then, you know, anytime something becomes even remotely popular, remotely mainstream, uh, you're going to have Karens, you know, shoehorn in and start finding problems with it uh, to get themselves elected, basically, to get uh, backpats and high fives from other Karens. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. But uh, this this Alpha Karen, Omega Karen, Connie Bonaros, apparently is working with... Japanese activists uh, to to ban manga and anime, and it may start with things you know like No Game No Life or Iromanga, uh, Iromanga Sensei. But I absolutely think they're going to push into more mainstream anime and manga. I mean, look, we've got this senator or uh, a politician down in Florida calling Dragon Ball Z too lewd. It's it's degenerate and lewd. Like, what the hell is wrong with these people? Remember when Mortal Kombat and Doom were causing all of society's ills? Yeah, it's like that all over again. I never thought I'd see a day where uh, anime and manga uh, was, was regarded as being so problematic, but again, it, it hasn't been as popular as it is now. 
So we're going to see more of this. Absolutely. I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And we're going to keep an eye on the situation. We'll talk to you guys later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.